Hi, this is Basia and I'm back with another quick tutorial. Today I will show you how to use different bits for the Rotary tool to achieve a simple engraving effect. Many of you asked me how I make lines and patterns on metal, so keep watching as in this video I'll show you how. I will be using several different attachments for the rotary tool or pendant motor called burrs, including diamond burrs. You can play around with different shapes and sizes to see which one fits with your design and will give you the desired effect. I personally usually go for the smaller ones. For the rotary tool, I'm using for them with the foot control, but you will be fine with the Dremel and other brands too. Just be careful with the speed. Make sure the attachments will fit with the handpiece of your motor. The handpiece doesn't matter as long as you can use different attachments regardless their shank size. And of course remember about protective equipment. Now I'm going to change the bit in this quick release handpiece for the tiny little burr. I will practice making lines on the brass and copper sheet. I've drawn the lines first, so I know exactly where to go with the burr. And for these lines, I will use the tiny cylinder burr with twisted cut. I'm making sure to have a good grip and control of the tool. I'm not pushing too much, but rather letting the tool do the job while focusing on guiding it so it stays on the line. The initial lines don't have to be deep, I can always remake them, so no need to put a lot of pressure on the bit. See, I am gently deepening the lines now. And here's the effect. The lines are nicely pronounced and quite deep. Okay, now I will use these diamond burrs to make a letter and some simple shapes. Again, not putting a lot of pressure on the bit, just enough for it to make a mark. I'm guiding it in the right direction and keeping it on the line. The control is very important as due to it spinning, the tool might slip, so don't hold it lightly and have a good grip. I've never tried these large ones, so let's give it a go. I will use the round one. Okay, so <laughs> it's much harder to guide the larger one. As you can see, it slips easily. I have to have an even stronger grip, but it looks like with a bit more practice, this can also look very nice. The pointy diamond one is definitely easier to control again, and I've had fun making these little shapes. And the last one is definitely my most favorite. It's a tiny round burr. I will use it to engrave the lines on the koi fish design. Using this one is actually very pleasant personally to me.
that's the final effect. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Huge thank you to my channel patrons for helping me bring you these videos and thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!